U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton told APEC participants that Russia's recent entry into the World Trade Organization will be a boost for American companies. So it pays to join the rules-based global trading system. And Russia's trading partners stand to benefit as well. American executives at APEC shared her optimism about both Russia and Asia. Scott Price, the president of Walmart Asia, says his company is the only major retailer opening new stores in Japan. 79% of Chinese, 72% of Indians, 70% of Japanese. These days, the most important thing to them is the price. So if you're bringing in quality products at the best price, you get customer sentiment. They're not worried whether your brand is American, French, Chinese or not. They want to be confident in the quality. James Turley, who heads the American accounting firm Ernst & Young, just announced he is opening an office here in Vladivostok. Foreign investors in Russia, American, Western Europe companies, feel very positive once they're here and they've invested and they learn how to work in Russia. Those companies that have been here for a long time want to increase their investment, not decrease it. Companies that have not yet invested in Russia are still a little bit skittish. The Hyatt hotel chain will open two hotels next year in Vladivostok making it another pioneer in the Russian Far East. Alia Turembekova is Hyatt's marketing director here. So we think that uh, this is a uh, very good region with a very good potential, and especially being the first international chain in the Far Eastern region, we are very proud to uh, manage these two hotels. Vladivostok's university campus, which served as the APEC conference center, was built with caterpillar machinery made in the U.S as was a nearby aquarium. Joe Caldwell has been renting and selling Caterpillar equipment in the Russian Far East for 16 years. Caterpillar equipment, earth moving bulldozers, road building, compactors, generators at the aquarium and all over this island. We rented probably 100 machines, sold them 150 machines. Saturday night, while the summiteers were watching fireworks, Emil Veliev, construction director of the Apex site, was backstage proudly showing his sewage treatment, built with American technology, and his desalination plant, also built with American technology. Uh, for the uh, future of Russia and working together with uh, America for new products is really depending on these people who are willing to invest, who actually see the benefits from all these products. Meanwhile, during the APEC meeting, there were concerns that upcoming U.S. trade legislation in Congress could be undermined by a possible human rights clause. But Ed Verona, president of the U.S.-Russia Business Council, disagrees. We're able to operate on separate tracks, uh, that we're beginning to build up enough of a commercial and economic relationship that isn't wholly dependent on the state of our, of our bilateral relationship on the political and geopolitical plane. Despite the Kremlin White House political roller coaster, economic interests shared by Russia and the United States may provide a long-term anchor between the two nations. James Brook, VOA News, Vladivostok.